So today we're gonna to be talking about my new favorite tent to go camping in. Now, notice I said camping and not backpacking. This is obviously not a lightweight backpacking setup. The tent weighs about 22 pounds. This is a tent that I like to use when setting up a base camp. Somewhere I'm gonna stay a couple of days that I can transport this thing in my car. Great for car camping. I almost wanted to call this video the best tent for car camping, but I guess it's not quite car camping. Uh, if you're not actually sleeping in your car. So this is the Wonderland 6. It is by REI, go figure. I like REI, I cannot stop plugging them for some reason, but there's a reason. All of their stuff is very well made and it's very well priced. This is a large tent, it runs you $700 for the tent alone and you might be saying, yep, that's a lot. But for the size of the tent and what you get out of it, I think it is in a good price range. And size is obviously the first thing you're gonna notice about this tent. There is 84 square feet of floor space and it reaches a maximum height of 78 inches or six foot six if you're going by our typical height standards. Now, a lot of large tents will boast that kind of space, but what I really like about this one is the shape and the design. It utilizes that space really well. It reminds me of a hobbit hole from Lord of the Rings. When you're in it, it has that cozy feeling of a hobbit hole. It allows me to use more of the space freely instead of having sharp corners that come down and eliminate your headspace pretty quickly. That round design and those high walls allow me to freely move about the tent without having to bend over or lean over or duck down. If it's a nice day out, I definitely recommend not having the rain fly on because this dome shape is great for staring at stars. There's tons of ventilation in this thing, windows, everything to make you feel cool on those hot days. And if you need to put the rain fly on, it's really easy and it protects you from the rain. In fact, I used this while in the rain, not a drop of water in the tent. It worked great. There was even some wind, and that's the other thing about this design. I feel like it can handle some weather, rain, wind. It doesn't always have to be the perfect day for you to get this out and remain super comfortable and feel super protected in your tent. This pole system is great, it's strong. There's no center pole running through your tent. It's pretty easy to set up. I was able to set it up on my own. I am a little bit taller, and if you're a shorter person, it might be hard to figure out those middle sections. But I believe two people, it's a really easy setup. It says it can fit six, but you're definitely gonna be crowded in there and your comfort aspect is gonna dwindle. So two, four, I don't know about six. There is a way to separate the tent and make it two rooms. Obviously, you'll still be able to hear each other, but at least separating the rooms and having a little bit of privacy is nice. There's plenty of storage space in this tent, plenty of pockets for you to put things in, plenty of eyelets to hang up lights and things like that. Two doors, so if you do separate the tent, you don't have to interrupt the other person. You can access your own side of the tent from your own door. It doesn't come with a footprint, but I did get a footprint to try to protect the bottom of the tent. And they also make a mudroom for it. Now, I did get the mudroom, and I did use the mudroom on a muddy day when there was rain, when you would actually use it. And I gotta say, I just hate the mudroom. I think it was kind of an afterthought when they were building this tent. Oh, let's make it a mudroom. Like gear is so good now, it really is the little things that separate a good piece of equipment from a mediocre piece of equipment. And I feel like they really missed the mark with the mudroom. First of all, if you're gonna use the mudroom, you will have to bend down to get into it. It is not the same height as the tent. So I noticed by the end of things, my back was kind of hurting uh, just from bending over and going in and out of that mudroom so much. They encourage you to throw out a chair into the mudroom and enjoy, I don't know, a spot on your porch. But like, if it's a nice day outside, you're not gonna be wanna be in this hot, sweaty mudroom. Like, you're gonna wanna be outside. The ventilation on it is terrible. They didn't add anything to hang up your clothes. There's a strap that runs along the bottom of the floor in the mudroom. Just a great tripping hazard to keep it erect or something. If it were me, I would buy a separate awning, something that's open on the sides and place that in front. Now, the nice thing about this mudroom is that in a wind, in some sort of weather, it will not blow away. It kind of fits that hobbit hole shape 
keeping it really sturdy. If you have like just a normal awning, if you have some wind, that thing might blow away. But honestly, there's very few occasions where I'll want the mudroom. And even when I'm using it, I'm gonna be cursing it out. So I would figure out something better if you wanna keep your doorway uh, covered. But for most people, just throwing a rug out in front of it and setting it up on a nice day, that's gonna be enough. Now, of course, it's not just the tent that makes your stay out there uh, a glamping experience. The way you set up the tent on the inside with your bedding and everything can add to your comfort. I'm gonna do a whole video on that on the, in the future, but for now, there are some links in the description below to some solar power, to a heater, to a nice bed. Stuff I use that just ups the camping level and makes it even more comfy and even more fun. So check those out. Look for that video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.